Welcome to the beautiful city of Nafplio, Greece. Nafplio is a coastal town located in the Peloponnese region of Greece. If you missed last week's video, I arrived to the region to explore some of the area. For the entire trip, I used Nafplio as my base, and in this video, I'll show you all about the history of this incredible city and climb up nearly 1,000 steps to take in the views of the Argolic Gulf. I am staying at a beautiful hotel called Ippoliti. Let me show you my room. I'll give you a little tour. So you come in, nice big bed, painting there, nice beautiful sort of exposed stone. You've got a window there, this beautiful desk, which I haven't had a chance to sit at yet. And then this mirror, which is kind of cool because I was getting ready one morning and I don't know if you can see that little red light there, but the TV is in the mirror, so <laughs> hidden away. You've got a big closet here and then the bathroom is also very nice. There is a pool outside, but because it's winter, it's not full. Breakfast is also included every morning and it has been pretty good. Uh, coffee and tea and fruit and yogurt, cereal. There's hot uh, eggs every morning, different types of eggs that you can have, different types of bread, and then loads of pastries. They have that really nice cheese and spinach um, pie that you get here in Greece. So lots of options to choose from. It's also really centrally located. Nafplio is really small, so you can pretty much walk everywhere. Most of the hotels are centrally located, but this one we walk right out and you're two seconds from the port and the nice walkway that goes along the, the waterfront. And in the other direction, you're literally two minutes away from all the restaurants, the main square and all the cool bars and stuff. So it's very well located, but it's sort of tucked away so that it's so quiet here. It's, you can't hear the road. Uh, the street that the hotel is on is actually a, a pedestrian street, so no cars can go past it. So it's, it's been pretty great. One of the things that makes Nafplio so special and such a sought after destination for Greek tourists is that it was actually the first capital of Greece before Athens. The first parliament building is here and the first leader of Greece Ioannis Kapodistrias was assassinated here on his way to Sunday Mass. But the history of Nafplio goes back even further than that. Before it was the capital of Greece, it was an important part of the Ottoman Empire, and before that, the Venetians controlled this region. In fact, for many years, the Venetians and the Ottomans fought for this land. One of the most interesting legends about Nafplio is about the mosque, which later became home to the first parliament in Greece. Legend has it that the Ottomans had just taken Nafplio back from the Venetians, but a few Venetians had left their treasures hidden in the hills, so they snuck back to the city to take it home. Before they could get to the treasure, they were intercepted by the Ottomans and killed. The man who killed them was so racked with guilt that he built this mosque in their honor but he was never able to forgive himself. He ultimately committed suicide before the mosque was even completed. Nafplio used to be a fortified city and this wall ran all the way around it. And there was only one way in and one way out. And this is it. Pretty cool. We just had a nice little tour of the downtown area and now we're gonna walk up there. I read that it's 999 steps, but our tour guide just told us it's actually 913, so bonus. The fortress of Palamidi sits atop a hill that is 219 meters, or 709 feet high. 
It was built by the Venetians between 1711 and 1714. Then, in 1715, the Ottomans took control of the city fortress until the Greeks finally took back control in 1822. Climbing up the stairs is no easy feat. It took about 25 to 30 minutes with a few stops for photos and to catch our breath along the way. It's of course much quicker on the way back down, but if you don't want to walk, you can take a taxi to the top for about 15 euros. One of the benefits of walking is constantly enjoying the view back over Nafplio. Good morning from Nafplio, which should be my morning run here <laughs> along the boardwalk, but what has become um, just me hanging out with all the cats. <laughs> so uh, it's a really beautiful morning here. I mean, I left a cold, cold winter in Lithuania and I'm here in December in a running top and a t-shirt. <laughs> walking along the coastline. It's so beautiful. Uh, let me give you a little peek at this place just after sunrise. Along the edges of town, as you carry on down the boardwalk, you find several beautiful little swimming areas. It was December when I was visiting, so it wasn't exactly beach weather, but I imagine during the warmer months, this is an amazing place to get in the water and cool off. Got like a natural rock pool here that I bet you can swim in during the summertime. I did actually pack my bathing suit, but uh, I'm gonna test how cool the water is. It's nice, there's like steps into the water here. Oh, there's sea urchins. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. That's, that's pretty warm, you guys. <laughs> I might swim in that. I might not. Nafplio is also packed with some incredible restaurants, one of which you absolutely have to try when you visit. It's called Amorfo Tavernaki. It was my favorite restaurant in Nafplio, where you can enjoy some seriously fantastic local cuisine. Depending on the time of year you're visiting, you can enjoy traditional things like trajanas, local Greek cheeses, slow-roasted lamb with homemade pasta, and different desserts. The service was great, the wines were tasty, they had Greek craft beer available, and the food was truly some of the best Greek food I have ever eaten. I hope you enjoyed getting to know this historical town of Nafplio with me. I can't wait to come back to the Peloponnese in a few months to explore it in warmer weather, to learn more about the history of this incredible region, and to share it all with you. Until then, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.